today we're filming with uh, Susie and Jason testing speakers and the new rock band game for the Xbox. Um, so my day today has got a little bit harder than normal as we've got a rock band and obviously all the speaker tests to perform. So I'm overseeing setting up the rock band sound and overseeing that and I'm setting up the artists that they've got to compare to real speakers. So it's quite a lot more for me to do today than a normal day but um, I'm looking forward to it and it uh, should be a good day. So a sound recorder's job consists of mainly recording high quality sound on location from presenters, musicians, anything like that really. The main tools of the trade are the boom, which you've probably seen before, which inside is a directional microphone, a radio mic, you've probably seen these on Big Brother and such like. To that goes a um, lapel mic, it's a tiny little mic which more often than not we hide inside uh, their clothes. The hub of the whole thing is the mixer, this is an SQN which is um, no, one of the best brands in the world. Uh, it mixes the microphones, the boom, the radio mics, whatever's plugged into me. So probably the most important part of the whole set of the kit is my Sennheiser HD25 headphones, which are absolutely fantastic. Now all this kit, unfortunately, weighs about two stone, so it's, um, it's pretty heavy, which is the reason for the ridiculous harness, uh, which saves my poor, poor back. But it is pretty tiring uh, for a day at work, contrary to what most cameramen will tell you. 40. Just setting the... Um, the level Hi, on the speakers to match the artist yeah. team so when the, the nebula unfolded hopefully then we'll be able to tell the difference between the two but right. we'll see. I want to get the balance right so it sounds good. Yeah we definitely need to bring those speakers in because the stereo field just far yeah. too wide for the what we're doing. Probably roughly where, yeah, maybe a bit more. Very close. Yeah, it's supposed to be, so I'm not expecting it's going to go. Yeah. We've just finished the speaker test. The uh, test went really well. Presenters were completely full, they didn't know which one was which. Uh, Tim obviously was fantastic, and so were the speakers. So it all went really well, I'm really pleased. We all love Ben, um, he's an excellent sound man. It's just that in eight series, none of us have understood a word he said. It's true. Have you got on with that? Can you understand him? Say something. Uh, my name's Ben and I'm a sound man. <laughs> Might as well be Swahili, why not? <laughs> we've just arrived at the next location. Uh, we've got, at this location, we've got an actual rock band, a Black Sabbath tribute band. We have Rock Band The Game. So we're gonna compare and contrast the two. Uh, I've got to take a feed from the rock band their desk so to get a feed into the camera so you can all hear it at home uh, so that should be quite complicated but it should be a problem. Um, audio. Plugging a radio microphone in for a wireless link to, to the main camera. I'm just about to plug um, the receiver for that microphone uh, into my kit so we can get the level from the rock band. Hopefully we can all hear the band there. I'm feeling good. Feeling like rock. Tired? No, I'm not tired. I don't get tired. You can't get tired in this job. It's not like I've been a cameraman. There's a, there's a great quote actually, which I was taught. No one ever comes out of the cinema whistling a wide shot. So next time you're watching television, please appreciate good sound. So we're just about to record the Sack Sabbath tribute band and uh, John, the engineer who's with the PA, has mixed it as you would do normally if you came to see a concert. But unfortunately that's not really great for TV, so I'm just tweaking the levels to make it sort of more acceptable, more TV friendly, so it doesn't sound like a rock concert at home. Um, so, ready to go, I think.
that's good. I'm a happy boy. Okay, great. Thanks, everybody. That's a wrap. Yeah.